AMC stock price could be headed a lot higher very soon thanks to a special catalyst that's coming up. Let's talk about what this catalyst is, how I think it'll affect the price, and where this stock could be headed very soon. Make sure to watch to the very end of this video so you don't miss any of the analysis I'm about to talk about with AMC. And if you're new here, like the video and subscribe. But other than that, guys, let's get right into this video. Alrighty guys, here we are with AMC Entertainment Holdings. This is actually the article that we're going to be talking about today. AMC Entertainment expected to beat earnings estimates what to know ahead of the Q2 release. Now this is what I'm talking about when I say that there is a huge catalyst coming up for AMC uh, that also seems to have some very positive correlating news to it that I think is really important and could drive the price a lot further in the upward direction. But first, let's get a quick little recap on what the price is currently doing. Today's date is, of course, July 30th. We're sitting at about 12.54 p.m. Eastern uh, time. And then if we look, of course, today is July 30th and I am in California, so it's 9.59 here. Just to give you guys some context of when this video is being shot, of course, currently sitting at $37.75 per share, down about 99% or 0.99%, ooh, down 1.13% on the day. It is unfortunately kind of pulling back from these higher highs that we saw uh, in the intraday trading session so far around the 11 a.m. mark. And now we are pulling back a little bit here. Now, that is not to get anybody discouraged. That's just what currently is happening with price action. We're going to dive into more technical analysis here in the later part of the video. But for now, what I really, really want to talk about is this article right here. So AMC Entertainment expected to beat earnings estimates what to know ahead of the Q2 release. So AMC does have an earnings call coming up very soon. And I think that one, every time we have seen a positive catalyst with AMC or really any catalyst for that matter, uh, we usually see an uptick in price. We usually see uh, the price tend to, it doesn't always happen this way, but it tends to head a little bit higher. Now, whether or not this happens for sure, this is again a kind of speculative guessing game. That's what the stock market is really built on, of course. It's all bets, risk, and anything involved with that. But the reason I want to talk about this is because with these types of catalysts, it is a usually, usually, not always, but usually easy to see uh, you know, a positive event coming in the future. Now, earnings is risky. Earnings does tend to play uh, either in the really negative way or a really positive way. So that is something to keep into account. But we're going to read this article, see what they have to see, what they have to say, and uh, I'll give my own opinion, of course, as well. AMC Entertainment is expected to deliver a year-over-year -year increase in earnings on higher revenues when its reports result for the quarter ended in June 2021. This widely known consensus outlook gives a good sense of the company's earnings picture, but how the actual results compare to these estimates is a powerful factor that could impact its near-term stock price. The earnings report might help this stock move higher if these key numbers are better than expectations. On the other hand, if they miss, the stock may move lower. While the sustainability of the immediate price change and future earnings expectations will mostly depend on management discussion of business conditions on the earnings call, it's worth handicapping the probability of a positive EPS surprise. So let's read a little bit more here. Zach's consensus estimate. This movie theater operator is expected to post quarterly loss of about 0.91 cents per share in its upcoming report, which represents a year-over-year -year change of 83.3%. Revenues are expected to be 341.3 million, which is up 1,000 or 1,705.8 percent from the year ago quarter. So what does this mean? This is good, obviously, right? We're seeing a increase or rather a decrease rather in the losses were up about 83.3 percent from previous losses that they posted uh, in past earnings. And we're also seeing up almost 1,705.8 percent on their revenues. And this is huge because obviously everyone was waiting for AMC to open back up. It's for them to open all the theater locations so that way more revenue could continue to funnel into the pockets of the AMC managers as far as the moviegoers go uh, and getting these movies out to the general audiences. This helps a lot, and the fact that they are up that much uh, is really awesome. It's really great to see that these numbers are continuing on an upward trajectory. Estimated revisions trend. The consensus EPS estimate for the quarter has been revised to 2.33% higher over the last 30 days to the current level. This is essentially a reflection of how covering analysts have collectively reassessed their initial estimates over this period. Investors should keep in mind that the direction of estimate revisions by each of the covering analysts 
may not always get reflected in the aggregate change. That's just kind of a little bit about revisionist stuff as far as the estimates go uh, that analysts like to put up if you see those kind of EPS uh, you know, suggestions or projections. Rather, that's what you're kind of looking at when you see that price consensus in EPS surprise, a little graph here, just if you want to see a little bit more of a visualization of what they just talked about. Uh, and then we can go a little bit further here. I'm not going to read this whole article because this is a little bit of a lengthy article and I don't want to, of course, waste your guys' time, you know, just sitting here reading, reading, reading. Uh, but overall, just to wrap this article up, what they're basically saying is that uh, bottom line, here it is. <laughs> An earnings beat or miss may not be the sole basis for a stock moving higher or lower. Many stocks end up losing ground despite an earnings beat due to other factors that disappoint investors. Similarly, unforeseen catalysts help a number of stocks gain despite an earnings miss. That said, bettings on stocks are expected to beat earnings expectations does increase the odds of success. This is why it's worth checking a company's earnings EPS and Zach's rank ahead of its quarterly release. Make sure to utilize it in. Yeah. Okay. So basically, this is a positive article. This is an article that is detailed. AMC's not only increase in overall revenue as well as increasing or rather decreasing their amount of loss that they've been taking on earnings per share, uh, but also to the fact that it's expected to beat. AMC is expected to beat earnings, it seems, from most analyst perspectives, uh, which is a really, really great sign. It means that AMC is obviously not a hemorrhaging company that I've seen a lot of these articles claim that it is, uh, you know, and try to kind of slander it and put a bad name to it. Again, AMC is a very, very large and popular movie chain. And now that everything is open back up again, and now that we have huge blockbusters hitting the theaters one after another, there's plenty of room for ticket sales and there's plenty of room for audiences to go to the theaters and spend money at the theaters. And again, this is a positive thing. And the fact that all of this is happening does mean, or more than likely, it does mean that these analysts might have a point about AMC uh, blowing expectations, hopefully well out of the water, if not significantly out of the water. Again, this is not guaranteed. And even if AMC does beat earnings, it's entirely possible that the stock price could drop significantly just as much as it could increase significantly. However, what we've seen with the past with AMC, because there's enough volume and because there's enough retail sentiment and retail traders that want to buy this stock, especially if there's any kind of positive catalyst that is released about the stock, uh, we tend to see that even news that isn't always the best news, but it's just good or decent news uh, does tend to cause a little bit of a run or a little bit of, an, of a short-term uptrend in the stock. So you have to be aware of this. Keep this in mind. This is Q2 earnings. So be aware of the earnings date when this is going to be coming out. And uh, overall, guys, I'm pretty positive and I'm pretty happy that uh, AMC is looking this good for earnings uh, coming up here relatively soon. Now, to end this video off and just to wrap it up, we're going to get into Think or Swim and do a little bit of technical analysis here. Here we are on the one day, one minute chart. Uh, this is the previous trading session over here. This is the current trading session on the right. As you can see here, pre-market was relatively stagnant, nothing much going on here. We opened the day, kind of started off strong at about the $38.49 level, jumping up to there. Continued to run all the way up to about the $38.96, almost the $39 level here at this point and unfortunately could not hold strong at these levels, likely profit takers, likely day traders taking their profits. And we saw a continued downtrend into the kind of mid part of the trading day here. Now, the trading day is not over. Again, stranger things have happened with the stock. We've seen stranger things happen where it's, you know, totally exploded. But again, by the time this video goes out, likely those price changes and moves will have already happen. So if you're a little bit confused, just to let you know, uh, you know, this video will probably be out a day before or probably, you know, the market's going to be closed by the time this video comes out. So again, these price, you know, this price could totally change by the time this video gets up. RSI sitting at the 44 level. So not too high, not too low. Uh, MACD is well, relatively too close to call here. Let's pull out a little bit here to the 20 day. We'll even maybe go to the 180 day. Uh, let's do the 180 day. Actually, I like the 180 day for swing trades and for most of my long-term investments. As you can see here, this is where the pattern fail happened with the pennant pattern. A lot of people were expecting a super big breakout, but unfortunately the pattern did indeed fail and we saw a large correction pull back here to about the $31 level. A little bit of a recovery here back to the 42 level and now we are just kind of sitting here in a tight consolidation pattern. Now if you zoomed in here, again, we could argue another pennant pattern is forming. Again, AMC is still holding relatively well at these higher levels than it was before, uh, you know, the overall short squeeze. So that is something to keep in mind and something to be aware of, guys. Again, AMC, you know, there's plenty of people who day trade it and swing trade it. And if you're an ape, you're long term, you know, you're holding this for a very long time. You're probably buying and holding lots of shares uh, and waiting this thing out. And I know you're probably mad that a lot of people are day trading, swing trading, because of course that does cause a large, significant kind of volatility in the, in the stock price. I mean, 
right? When people buy and sell, it causes ups, causes downs, right? And if you are long term in the stock, you only want to see up, of course, and that's obviously not going to be the case when there is volatility and there is a lot of volatility with AMC. But again, I think as long as their earnings catalyst does well, I think as long as we see more positive news come out about AMC and continued retail sentiment, again, I think AMC could recover a little bit to these higher levels. So keep watching this close guys, but other than that, that is pretty much it for AMC. Hope for your thumbs up today. Please like the video, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video like this. If you guys want two free stocks with Webull, check out our Webull link down in the description below. It's a great brokerage. We personally use it. And of course you guys get two free stocks. If you guys want to join our private discord as well, we have that link down in the description below. But other than that, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. I'm Kyle with Finance Bro. Take it easy.